Oh, I don't have a phone. Alrighty, so what we're going to do today is we are going to do a test. I want to see, I don't even know if it works, uh, if it even, will even work, but I want to see if the 9 amp hour battery will outperform two 4 amp hour batteries in the 16 inch lawnmower. So I want to do that test today. We're going to see on if it's a little bit more powerful uh, with uh, thicker parts of the lawn. We're going to see if the duration is longer, and I'm actually curious if it will work on a single battery by itself. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do this. So, I did have to inflate the, the pool again, but we're going to do this test because I'm actually curious if it, the lawnmower will even run on a single battery. So, I think it's a good test. I think it'll be... Uh, one one battery versus two with the one this one's more powerful than these two but we'll see the benefit of having two batteries is the load gets distributed between both of them and they both get equally hot and instead of one battery getting super hot two batteries just get a little bit more than warm so we'll see what happens. I hope I don't trash the, the 9 amp hour to where it gets so hot and it just fries out. Uh, this, could, this might be an expensive test. So let's see what happens. Alright, so what we're going to do first is the 9 amp hour battery. Let's see, even see if I put this in and this could close. I'm hoping it can. Is that, uh, uh, let's see. Nope, it does not close. That's all right, but I'll show you. I'll show you the reason why you could only use a four amp hour battery in the back, or a four amp hour battery or smaller in the back. Because if you try to put this in, it won't be able to close because the it won't be able to go anymore because this one's too thick. Now I could do the opposite. I could put the four amp hour battery in first. And then the 9 amp hour battery because there's enough space. This uh, Now what they should have done, all they had to do is make this a little bit deeper. So you could use a 6 amp hour batteries or a 9 amp hour battery. So, But we're going to do this test one more time. That's why you cannot put other batteries in. A 4 amp hour battery or smaller has to go in the back one. But let's see what happens. Will it turn on? Yes, it does. I'm actually amazed it turns on, so we will be able to do this test. <coughs> so let's see what happens. Now, we are not ready for this test yet. The one last, one thing I wanted to try for a while is in the my Facebook uh, in the Facebook group Riot We Rebels, someone attached the fan to the lawnmower. It, this is not my idea. I am stealing this idea from someone else. So we are gonna see if I could actually do that with this uh, 16 inch lawnmower and what it takes to do it. Pretty sure if I could do that. Oh, if I had a little, all right, all right, I think all I need is a little bigger battery, which I'm going to use a six amp hour for that. And there we go.
All right. So. So I will need, I am going to need a zip tie for that. I will. Okay, that ain't going anywhere now. All right, so let's see. about half of my front yard and this isn't even warm but it is dead but that's the good news though that's good news that this isn't even warm okay that did about half the yard half the front yard did it about there to right here so then I have that so yeah all right, so now let's put two four amp hours in this dog. And let's continue working. So, what a difference this fan makes when it comes to working outside in the heat and you're just over exhausted by the heat and sweating and you're, you, know, you have a lot of work to do still and you have more grass to mow, but this makes a difference. I've been out here for a little while and I'm, not, I'm barely sweating thanks to this thing, but if I step away from the fan, uh, I instantly start to sweat. So it, it, it's hot out here. It's, I think it's like in the 90s right now. But this, if you, it doesn't matter which lawnmower you have. If you have this uh, fan, get it. And, or if you don't, get it and attach it to whatever lawnmower you got. What a difference. What a difference I'm doing the lawn with this. Whoever, I do not know the name of the guy that uh, posted this first on the Ryobi Rebels. But thanks to him and thanks to the group, I'm always going to have a fan on this uh, lawnmower every time I mow grass. I wish I had it on before. I wish I took his advice months ago and used this. But now I am, so now I'll be using this all the time. Oh, that is awesome. What a freaking difference. Fantastic. All right, so we did do the test of the nine amp hour that you could actually use that by itself in the lawnmower with it performing if oh, just as well or if not better than the two four amp hour batteries now these doing half the yard these are at 75 percent each so i used up 25 percent of each battery uh, to do the other half of the lawn now Granted, the part of the lawn that the 9 amp hour did, the grass was a little bit thicker and a tad bit taller. But it did do it did do a fantastic job. Now, it's nice to know that I could use the 9 amp hour battery uh, for, for the lawnmower by itself if I just so happen to run out of the 4 amp hour batteries or if I don't want to use the 3 amp hour batteries uh, at all. But... What I do want to do is do a test with the 9 amp hour battery and a 4 amp hour battery. See what that does. Now like I said, I do wish that they made the battery area to the correct depth to where you could use at least two 6 amp hour batteries. But 
They didn't. So, like, so the... If you use two batteries, it has to be a 4 amp hour battery or smaller in the back. Because if it's if this is if the back's too tall, you won't be able to get the 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 first one, the first port in because it's it's being jammed. So it has to the back has to be a 4 amp hour battery or smaller. So like whoever did that idea, like even sitting in the shade right now, I am hot. I'm starting to sweat a lot more, and that's just, and I'm just sitting down talking to the camera instead of out there working. Now, with that fan on me while I'm working, I'm cooler than I am right now. So that fan on there is fantastic. I suggest you guys do that. It's worth it. If you don't have one, go go get one and then attach it to that, or even a battery-operated fan. It's any it's what a difference like I, i'm actually gonna go back out there and and work right now to cool off i could go inside the house but the lawn's not, not gonna get done but I, I'm, I'm heating up big time just sitting in here in the shade so so yes that is fantastic now please uh on facebook join uh our facebook group right we rebels it's good i have a twitch account and i have an instagram account but i naturally don't go to those I just, I'm 36, I, the only thing I'm really uh, fluent with is Facebook and YouTube. You know, I'm not, I'm not into twi uh, Twitter or Instagram, I'm, I'm, I'm really not, that's, that's not my thing. So, yeah, I don't have uh, any other Facebook group or page, just Ryobi Rebels, so please come join us. Uh, Get some, I, uh, they, they share a lot of great ideas, and uh, I got that, that's, like I said, that's not my idea, I got that from Ryobi Rebels, so, so it's good, so I'm going to continue working on the lawn right now, I got other stuff I want to do, I want to wash the cars, I want to uh, power wash some more, uh, some of the house, which that's going to be in a future video of the, how well the power washer uses against uh, aluminum siding. So, uh, so yes, that's pretty much it. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.